Hey, what's going on? So I got this Amazon Fire TV. <clears throat> you can see right now. And uh, I was just messing around with it. It uh, it doesn't come with a browser, and there's no real apps for browsers or YouTube or any of that stuff. So, you know, if you're looking for that, you can still, there's still hope. Because uh, I've got mine rigged up. It didn't take too much. Um, and I'll show you. You're going to need to get some accessories because, you know, this it comes with the remote, which is sweet. Not gonna lie. Like if you're just watching movies and Netflix, remote is sweet. You know, it's got the, uh, you know, it's got voice right here. You can hold this and you can just search for any movie or whatever. So I mean, it's really geared towards the media, which is like what they want. Um, but you can always, you know, they they made it so there's a developer mode, so you can actually sideload apps and sideloading is just you pretty much download, you know, the app file, the APK or whatever, and you go on your computer, you send it to the device, it installs it, now you have the app. So any Android app you can get on this. And this actually is an Android based system. So pretty much most of them work. The only issue you're going to run into is these are set up for touch and this is pretty much just arrows on the uh, default remote and this is what you're going to have to do. Go out, buy yourself one of these guys. You can see right here it's got the pad um, which you can use as a mouse, and this is the uh, this is the Logitech K400 wireless touch keyboard, and hey, it's I got it for 20 bucks. It was on sale at Best Buy. It was on sale the night before, at, like Amazon for 20. Um, and I'll just show you how it works. Um, you can pretty much browse like you have a mouse. So when you download, say like I had um, Chrome, I have Chrome browser on here, and you can download. The Flash Player app, and there's actually, uh, I think it's side sideloads.com. I'll put a link in the description, um, and you can actually it will give you a whole, you know, good tutorial. It's really easy. You just need a you know a PC or a Mac, and you can set it up, be on the same network, and uh, it's pretty easy. So go check that out. I'll send you a link. You can set all this up if you're interested. It's really not that hard. It's not advanced. You don't need to be like some crazy, you know, computer, you know, guy. Uh, you, you can figure it out uh, here, so I'll show you, you know, what I can do with it. Hey guys, I just wanted to go a little more in depth with the keyboard, and I messed with it last night a little bit, um, and I messed with some of the apps last night. And you can see here, you get a search button. You can use this to search um, on the device at any time. Um, obviously, you can't do the voice. This doesn't have a microphone. But you have the home button. And you also have this power button. Now, if you see my device is actually off right now, and if you have the def the regular remote, it doesn't actually come with a power button, and you're like, how do I shut my device off? This can solve that problem. So, you know, if you want to do it remotely anyway, so if you hit this power button, you can see that boots up right away. And if I hit it again, you can see it shuts right down. And you can see how fast this, you know, boots right up. It's like instant. Um, you know, obviously it's not like it's loading huge operating system. Um, you can navigate with these keys in your menu. You know, you can get your movies, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you can also, if you use this mouse pad at any time, you can start doing that. And now you have a mouse. So it's pretty cool. The mouse doesn't really do you any good when you're on the actual home screen, even though you can still you know, it, it doesn't really do you much good here, but I'll tell you where it does do much good is when you go into, after you've gone and you've sideloaded your apps. Um, now, most of these apps are set up for Android, set up for touch, so if you're using just the remote that comes with it, um, it's not really much good for you. The browsing is a little bit hard. Now, I mess with two different browsers. I'm a fan of Google Chrome. I use it on my other devices, but... I found out a reason more why people use um, Mozilla Firefox over Chrome, and I can show you the difference. So here we got manage and install all install applications. That's where your app, app list is going to be. Um, you're going to go down. I got Chrome, Facebook. Facebook's not that great because um, you know it's a mobile version. It's just going to stretch it across your screen horizontally and you know, it's it's not really set up. 
And if you go down, um, so I got Firefox, I got Chrome, and another little goodie that I got on here, let me focus you on a little better, is the Xfinity TV Go app, where you can actually stream live TV, you can watch on demand, and it's a pretty good app. I mean, essentially, now you can enjoy your, you know, your all your TV on the Amazon Fire. So, yeah, this makes things simpler. You don't have to get another device. Um, but I'll show you a little bit about the Chrome and, you know, why I would use Firefox instead. <clears throat> so you can see here, you get the standard, you know, Chrome. And you can use that mouse pad, that track pad that comes with this keyboard, the K400. Got this thing for 20 bucks. You know, so it's now you're not gonna break the bank. Um, so if you just, you know, go up here and hit the up arrow on the actual keyboard, now this pops up and you can search websites. Say we want to go to like you know CNN.com. Now you hit the now what you have to do here is you have to hit the tab key, um, which will bring you down to the uh, to the next button here. So you hit that. And then that's automatically you to hit enter on it. Now you can see that we're already in that. We're in actually mobile sites. And if I get my remote. Now some of these functions, um, you know, they're just not there. So <laughs> if you get the remote here, you can actually get the settings. And that's going to bring up, you know, if you've used this browser before, you can go down. You can actually select this. It's actually request desktop site. And that's going to be much better for you because now it's going to request a desktop site for pretty much any site that you go to. It's going to see it as a desktop. Um, and obviously now, you know, you can browse with multi-touch functions. Um, there is not a zoom function, but you can, you know, scroll down. So that's pretty cool. Um, but you know, have an issue here. So I found this issue with Chrome. See if I go into politics. Now that we're in the politics section, um, we can't go back with the keyboard. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go on this here remote, and you're gonna have to hit the back button, and that's gonna do the function we're looking for. But you know, you want to be able to use one device. You either use the remote or you either use the keyboard. Obviously, with browsing, you're gonna have to use the keyboard. Um, so what we're going to do is I get this neat function here. I'm going to hold the alt button and hit tab just like a regular computer. So you can alt tab over to any of your apps that you recently use. And you can see that here I got uh, Xfinity Go TV, I have Chrome, and I have Firefox. Now the thing is, those are all side loaded apps. So in this, you know, this is a neat function, save you a lot of time, you can alt tab over. So I'm going to go to Firefox, just release it. Um, and obviously Firefox loads and you can see up here in the corner, we actually have a, um, you know, an arrow button to go back. So that whole function is going to be a lot better for us. If you click here, um, you know, let's, let's go to CNN. And when you do this, you got to be wary of uh, you know, what's typing here. It's not not as nice as a uh, <laughs> regular keyboard. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's actually uh, some of this some of this stuff is it, it's still it's still kind of buggy, um, but you know we'll be able to figure it out anyway. So if we go over here to our, this is like where you manage the pages, you can close that sucker out and start a new one out. Uh, let's, let's go to like fox.com, um, all right, you know, something, I can't even believe this is happening. There we go. Oh, Jesus. There we go all these slashes and stuff going in. Um, I'm balancing this keyboard on my lap, so it's not that great. So you can see we're on fox.com. 
um, and say if, you know, now I want to go to full episodes, all right, I'm going to click over to full episodes, and obviously, as simple as anything is, as soon as this page loads, I want to go back to that home screen, um, and you could probably actually watch these clips, it, we have Flash Player installed, um, I'll try it for you, should be able to watch the clips. Yeah, so they want you to act. So, okay. So there's probably uh, we could probably download the app. Um, you know, like some like I said, some of the stuff does not work. Uh, you know, too great. Um, but you know that's that's a video for another time. So, so if you just hit the back button, obviously you can go back. So this is the browser you're gonna want to use. It's the browser that side loads. Uh, Fire, sideloadfiretv.com recommends um, because these apps work the best. So, you know, eventually I'm sure that they'll come out with more stuff. Um, but hey, you know, th this this keyboard brings opportunity to the Fire TV that you can access now and not wait for um, everything else. Um, for, for, say, YouTube videos, you know, I'd recommend using one of these apps, uh, one of these YouTube apps. There's two of them. I think there's like ProTube, and then there's this one, which is just straight, you know, YouTube. Um, and you know, you can go in here and you can search, and you can just, you know, see. This is why I like uh, ProTube better. You gotta click per everything. So if we go into ProTube, um, you know, your ability to search is much easier with the keyboard. The other one is more uh, geared towards not having the keyboard and using the mouse which you can you can use you can use the uh, default controller for these apps as well so you know blah 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 you can search in here you can find your video that you're looking for um, so again these apps will be much easier for you and there's only one more app that I want to actually show you and I'm actually going to tab over to it okay I can't tab over to it but let's go back let me go uh, search for it down in the settings and applications and manage all apps. I'm actually gonna give you a quick preview of the Xfinity app here. So I just wanna show you that this actually works. Um, and this is gonna be a cool function and I think there is a Verizon app. Now what you gotta do is you gotta go online, you gotta search for these APK files. Um, you have to, you know, type it in and you know, most of them will be in there where you can actually just download the APK once you go through that tutorial, you know what an APK is. It's really easy. You can actually just drag drop the file into your command prompt when you go to install it. Um, and let's see here. So if I use the mouse, I can actually use my multi-touch to scroll. Um, and you know, okay, say if I want to watch Shipping Wars, you know, this is going to load up. And I'm very far away from my wireless router and it's not plugged in. So this is actually these these load very good and they actually have really good uh, really good quality I mean the HD is sweet and you can obviously see that this this works um, and I can actually stream live TV I can watch on demand so this is actually a really cool function um, and you know I can I can pause and play it so that's a cool function that you can do. Um, the app actually works flawlessly, and I was actually impressed with that. So if you guys want me to make more videos, I can. Um, I might make a few, but there's a lot of side load app videos out there. But if you guys are having trouble with that, I can answer questions, or I can even just make my own tutorial, um, just referencing those guys, and just kind of give you a little more in-depth view. But uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Wada signing off. All right, thanks.